Hey guys, Crewman coming back at you. Uh, I was going to release some gaming content today, but I'm a little under the weather and Regal Miner 1.3.9 just released, so I want to talk about it. And I've, uh, I've done some testing and I want to tell you my findings. So first off, uh, I released a short earlier this week that explained I do not recommend upgrading to 1.3.8 from 1.3.7 because even though you get some performance gains on 3080 series and a, and a, or 3080s and above, there are efficiency losses across the board. So I said just sit, sit tight and see what they come up with in the next release. You know, I don't fault these guys. They're trying to make better miners and, you know, I'm certainly going to promote their miner as long as they are trying to do right by the community. So here we have 1.3.9. The biggest changes are... Uh, they added a kernel parameter, which will enable the 1.3.7 efficiency modes, um, and they show you how you can do it. So let me show you what my findings are. First, let me show you what my test bench looked like at 1.3.7. So right here, you can see what my settings were. Uh, at the time, I thought they were the best efficiency settings. I was getting about 62 mega hash uh, on the 3070, 51 on the 3060 Ti, floating at about 100 watts. And then 108 on the 3090 at 221 watts and 90 on the 3080 at 174 watts so now i'm at the uh well, i'm using 1.3.9 on the bench so let me show you what my settings look like so as you can see uh the 3090 and the 3080 made some significant improvements with not really any more power draw uh, we went from 108 to 117 and 90 to 97. So that was the prime update on 1.3.8. However, at 1.3.8, the as I said before, the 3070 and the 3060 Ti efficiency settings were not good. But 1.3.9 with their kernel settings fixes that. As you can see, um, this is using this is using the kernel command, and you can see that my efficiency is basically the same at, with the 3060 Ti and the 3070 as in 1.3.7. So let me go over the kernel command that made this possible. So this is in the user config. Now my settings are based off dual mining, Nexa, and Zill because I think dual mining is the way to go. But if you look at the bottom, you see the kernel, the dash dash kernel with the two and the comma and then the under the um, underscore and then the underscore that basically denotes that GPU 0 and GPU 3 need to use the kernel while GPU 1 and GPU 2 do not now I normally don't recommend mixing GPUs on rigs uh, I only do it on this one because I want to test multiple GPUs and see how they interact with miners but I would current I would strongly recommend that you keep your GPU models the same uh, or if you're going to mix, I would only mix 3070 and 3060 Ti's as far as the NVIDIA side. Maybe 3080's and 3090's as well, but, you know, I don't know if I'd do that. I'd probably just keep them the same if I could help it. Would I upgrade? I, I would upgrade to 1.3.9 if you are running 3080's and 3090's. Or if you've already upgraded from 1.3.7 to 1.3.8, I would upgrade back to 1.3.9 and I would use the kernel mode to get yourself back to 1.3.7 efficiency. See. However, if you're on 1.3.7 for 3070s and 3060 Ti, my findings kind of explain that it doesn't make sense to upgrade right now. You know, just save your time and leave them the way they are. Now, I also want to go over settings. I think my settings are the most efficient. As you can see right here, uh, I will post them in the comments and I use these across my my entire farm. Uh, I only have one 3090, but for my 3070 rigs, my 3060 Ti rigs, and my 3080 rig, these are the settings I would use, and this is how I would dual mine Nexa and Zill, and I will leave these up here as well. I think these are the best overclock settings. Um, now, I do want to show you that you can, you know, if you have a super, super low power rate, you can do max power settings, and I just want to show you what that looks like real quick. So if you look at the bottom, the bottom uh, graph is me trying max power on my 3060 Ti's and my 3070. I didn't really want to try it on the 3080 and the 3090 because I don't think the power supply can handle it. But as you can see, I got it up to about 78 mega hash at 163 watts. And I got the 3060 Ti to 62 at 147 watts. Now if you have low power or power isn't your primary goal and you care about yield, 
that's what I would do. Um, I will go ahead and post those settings right here real quick how I got them. And here are the overclock settings I used to make that happen. Shout out to my friends at Sinner Solus Discord for, again, helping me with this. Um, now, this these settings are not what I would personally use, as I've already stated, but I just wanted to share them here for you to have them. So in closing, here are the overclock settings I've been using for my farm. I've had great success over the last few weeks using this. Now, this is for Nexa Plus Sill, and I would use these settings across the board for everything from the 3060 on up to the 3090 ti however i would probably adjust the zill the mem you know the memory zill settings accordingly um anyway i will post those in the comments down below i hope this helps uh you know if you have accidentally upgraded to regal minor 1.3.8 i would upgrade to 1.3.9 uh if you are on a 3080 or above i would upgrade to 1.3.9 otherwise just stay at 1.3.7 if you are on a 3070 3060 or 3060 Ti, or even 3070 Ti, uh, I think you will see that it's just easier to not upgrade because you don't get really any benefit. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I finally made partner. I really, really want to uh, let you guys know that I appreciate all your help. And, uh, I'm going to be trying to do as much helpful content as I can. So thank you for watching. I know your time is valuable. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.